So luckily, thanks to somebody who does some flyovers of Fremont, we were able to get a sneak peek at potentially the most recent and most up-to-date Cybertruck design we have seen. Now, there's been a lot of Cybertruck, I don't wanna say like leaks, but little tidbits of information coming out here and there. But today, we get to talk about Wipergate. And how will it wipe? How will it wipe? Now, if you don't remember, we'll do a quick throwback. We actually did a will it wipe video when Tesla switched to camera-based windshield wipers. And it was a really funny video. Uh, if you haven't, we'll link it up in the iCard. Definitely check it out after this video. Sparkling water, lemon flavor. Applesauce, or organic applesauce. <laughs> chocolate pudding. <laughs> and more chocolate pudding. I don't think you have enough coverage. Huh, yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, oh wow, it's dirty. Oh no. But the Cybertruck brings it to a whole nother level. The windshield wiper we saw, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it looked like it was five feet long. It looked monstrous and huge. That's an understatement. Huge. It was massive. And a lot of people on Twitter obviously weren't very happy with that. Some people thought it looked ridiculous. We thought about it. Elon even tweeted that that's not the final design. Not but the production wiper. What if the production one's just gonna have a little cover over it? I don't know. Or maybe the production one could be bigger. Who it knows? could. Um, <laughs> we don't really know where this is gonna go. So we wanted to kind of talk about different wiper options that we've thought about that we know Tesla might be interested in. And what could it be? Or what do we think it should be? So about two years ago, we saw a patent release that somebody found from Tesla. Maybe it was even more than two years ago, something like that. But they were getting a patent for lasers on a windshield to replace a wiper. Yeah, it seemed pretty far-fetched. I mean, it, it does. It, it sounds cool and, and sounds know, awesome. high tech, but I don't see how that would work. I mean, in, to clean off a large amount of water, it seems like that would take some really powerful lasers, and I don't know if you want lasers like. So mm. I guess my question is: Is the laser like l like vaporizing them? I don't that's know. That's kind of what I thought. That's what I yeah. So we you know check out the 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 patent, but it's like I could see how that might work in like a light drizzle or something like that. But if you're in a, a torrential downpour, yeah. you're on the highway at like 75 miles an hour, I don't know how that would work. No, and it's like and also what if it refracts through that water droplet just right and goes into my eyes. Yeah, that's why I don't there's, there's a lot gotta of... be something or so something so that it wouldn't be able to actually come through the glass. I don't know. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of unknowns with that. So I honestly don't think Tesla is at the point to be able to do lasers. That would be my guess. I guess that brings us to another option. What about like the Model S or X or 3 or Y? Just two wipers under the hood. Yeah, just kind of hide them, tuck them away so they're not visible at all times. Yep. They're just kind of right under the edge of the hood. A couple issues though with this. Now going through and kind of looking at the image that we were able to screen grab, it looks like the windshield is taller than it is wide. So if they are able to tuck under that like front hood area, when they come up, they're probably not going to hit the autopilot camera and that's the reason you want them because you need to have your autopilot cameras clear. And that would have to be some really l wide wipers because if we're seeing that the yeah. vehicle's like 80 inches wide or somewhere yep. around that, they'd have to have some really wide wipers. And again, if you have two of them, you don't need them to go the entire way across. Yeah. But if they went, well, I can't, if you went like this, well, I can't bend my arm. <laughs> like that, they're not going to be tall enough. They're definitely not going to be tall enough. But what if they were like this? And they went like this. But the autopilot camera is going to be up here. So oh, when so you do that, like, it'd miss them both. Oh, yeah. So, but another yeah. option, maybe it could be like come out and telescope oh, yeah, as so it goes so it up. Here, it comes then, out and, and then, then it kind of goes down and out and down. Make it longer. And out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. Um, but issues with the telescoping design. Winter. Hello. Some, yeah, something else to break. And yeah, if it gets frozen or something, yeah, just something else to break. So I don't know if, I don't think any other car has ever had telescoping wiper blades either. So that's no. probably just some far-fetched idea. But it could potentially work. Maybe if they did the two that are under the hood, maybe we'll have a little, like a six inch wiper just for the autopilot cameras. Just a... Yeah, they could have like a little thing right on the top or yeah. above the cameras, just like, like Volvo when some of the cars had, just put a little <laughs> wiper in, right in front of the the uh, autopilot camera. 
Yeah, that would, I mean that might work because then then with a combination of the other blades going like this, yeah, or like this, yep. Then I would think it would be more like this, yeah, than like this because this they could both be equally long, yep. So like maybe a telescoping design with a little guy up top potential. Now what we did see is the tall wiper on one side and if you kind of like draw out a quarter circle from where that is like going in it looks like it'll easily hit the autopilot cameras. Yeah but what if they did the tall blade but it went side to side Yeah, like, like on two little tracks. Again that's something that could work but a lot of mo more moving parts. Yeah and you'd have to have um, like tracks. And then stuff that could get full of snow. And, and what if it like just grind. shoots all the water off, like yeah. a ton of water onto yeah. the car next yeah, to you? Fine, yeah. I mean. But also too, you'd be stuck with only one wiper. And so why it might work, yeah. unless they had them both. Oh, well, oh, <laughs> I didn't think of that. Okay. Well, you could do that. But think then of all the, the fun gifts the we can make yeah. with all our wiper. Oh, yeah. Um, so there's all different possibilities, but I mean, it has, I don't think that's been done before. Not I that I can think of. Um, we did see like in that Corvette though, where it had like a spot at the top little, of the hood, the hood and a little up. flap and it they like kind of popped out from there maybe that could work eh, but again that seems overcomplicated i think you it could does. just hide them under the edge of the hood and yeah. it does it accomplishes the same thing yep now the one other option that you kind of brought up that we've been talking a lot about and trying to think about the feasibility of that is like a Dyson air blade kind of thing. Yeah, if they had something that could like blow high pressure air like right from underneath the hood yeah. up over the windshield, would that be something that they could use? And would that work in like a torrential downpour? Yeah, and would that on, be sufficient speeds? enough for, I wanna say this thing looks like it's gonna be like six plus feet long of glass. It's gonna be huge, that windshield. Like, is that gonna be strong enough to work at the autopilot cameras that are way up top? I don't know, to be honest though, like thinking about it, the blade that they have that just kind of goes like this seems like the easiest option which is why they have it and on this yeah. on this pre-production car I and mean, yeah. that's one the way they can they can at least take the car out on the track or maybe do some test rides and they can use it but that doesn't necessarily need to be what the final production model is going to be exactly now this one did just have it on the driver's side there is potential maybe they'd put one on the passenger too and maybe they could like in case one failed, the other one could get the autopilot cameras at least. I don't know. It's, it, it looks kind of weird to me, though. I'm just going out on a limb. If anything, maybe they should sink the windshield just a little bit. So when these blades come up to the edge of the glass, they're not, like, sticking out. They're, they kind of, mm. like, recess into, like, the A-pillars. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. What if, they, what if they're hidden away in the A-pillars? Yeah. Or like tucked under some, I don't know, because then that seems to like the, create some aerodynamic issues if yeah. if it was not totally sealed in. Um, yeah, interesting. Well, that, yeah. that is one thing that we saw with the glass. It looks like the actual glass is changing its curve now. Yeah. Whereas before, when we did the test ride back at the Cybertruck event, it looked like one solid flat piece of glass, flat, yeah. very angular. And now it looks kind of curved. So it kind of curves, you know, from the center around towards the A pillars. Yeah, definitely for aerodynamics, that's that's the way to go. And I mean, the rest of this truck, I hate to say it, doesn't look very aerodynamic because all of those hard edges and everything. So I guess we'll kind of have to see what the data looks like when they actually release it. But the windshield wiper really got us thinking, what else could they potentially do? Uh, I honestly think the design we saw, though, is going to be pretty close to what we see in a final design Cybertruck, especially being we haven't seen any windshield wipers before on them. Yeah. And it's coming up pretty close to being time for them to really hone in on one option and just start mass producing whatever they need for that. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm sure they've already made the decision. Yeah. We're just not seeing it yet. Like I said, the vehicle they have out there is pre-production model. They're using it for test rides. Yeah. We haven't seen the final one. So it'll be interesting once we do. Yeah. What 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 have they figured out? What will work? Yeah, what will the wiper look like and will it be as crazy of a design as the cyber truck i also wonder too like with a glass that big uh -huh. are, th are there going to be problems like in winter like with icing up and stuff because it's uh, a lot of glass to heat up yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah again you don't necessarily need it like above your head you don't need the ice wiped off of those or melted off of that but it's just like that's a huge surface in front of the driver and passenger it is that's definitely going to be the biggest windshield i think we've ever seen in an actual passenger vehicle Previous though, I want to say the X is probably the biggest I've ever seen, yeah. and that windshield's huge. And this is, I think, could be like one and a half, maybe even two times as big. It's massive piece of glass. I don't want to know what that's going to cost to replace should it get chipped. Mm. But 
isn't it supposed to have the it is the nuclear glass or whatever or whatever i forget what it's called i mean <laughs> i don't want to put that to the test but still hopefully they are thinking about this though because i know the model x windshield people have been quoted upwards of two thousand dollars to replace that i really hope they have paid attention and made that front piece of glass being how big it is and how problematic it would be to probably change out very very like heavy duty, protected, not gonna chip, crack or anything. Yeah. Let us know though down below, do you guys have any other windshield wiper ideas? Is there anything that we might have overlooked? Do you have any ideas that could potentially work and we can go ahead and talk about it all down there? Overall though, I am extremely excited for the Cybertruck. This model that we did see did have side mirrors. Boo. Yeah. It looks like they were folded in though. But they so were folded they in. They obviously weren't being used. So that probably yeah. means that there are cameras yep. in use and probably screens within the vehicle to allow the driver to see to the rear. And Elon even said himself several times that they will be easily removable. The SX3 and Y, you can remove them. Not easily though. So hopefully these will snap be on, a lot easier. Like snap on. And this is something that we had predicted years ago. We yep. questioned maybe way back before the Model X came out, we were wondering, you know, because the prototype for that didn't originally yep. have mirrors as well. And we wondered, hey, maybe the Cybertruck will have them or if maybe they'll be easily removable. Just pop them up, maybe have a little case yeah. or a mold or something, you know, that you can put them in in the front yeah. and you can run that way. But if your cameras get messed up or stop working, you could easily just pull them out and pop them on and then use the mirrors going, you know, until you were able to get the cameras fixed. Definitely. I Because I it kind of ruins the design, especially of the Cybertruck in my eyes, just the aesthetics of it and everything. But also if you're gonna like take it off road and stuff like that, you know, just having branches hitting branches, stuff like that. Branches, yeah. It'd be nice to be able to take those off. Yeah, definitely. But also it would really help with aerodynamics, I guess. Yep. Um, we saw a couple other things that looked like the rear charge port was actually integrated into the black mold around the wheel. Yep. I think that looked really, really nice. We saw the three amber lights in the front of the vehicle, which so signifies new, yeah. that the vehicle will be greater than 80 inches wide because that is a mandatory thing in the United States. You have to have three ambers on the front if you are wider than 80 inches. So it'll be interesting to see if they got rid of the light bar that went all the way it across. It looked like they did, and it looked like they got rid of the light bar in the back too, which is a huge bummer because- did Also, didn't they have a light at, bar? Like It doesn't look like that was there mm -hmm. either. So hopefully, again, this is a pre-production model. Hopefully things will have changed and maybe since it's pre-production, they were just looking at some alternatives and they'll put it back. Uh, but there's, there's a couple things missing that I would really like to see. Um, I don't know. We didn't really see the tonneau cover no. on this it, one. Because it, it was open up, you could see into the bed. Yeah. Yep. But it looked like it was a black bed liner throughout the entire thing, not the uh, open steel look. Yeah. Um, so that changed a little bit. But again, stuff like that would be easy for them to go back and forth uh, for pre production. Overall, though, super, super excited. Every time we get these little Cybertruck leaks, I get a little bit more excited for it, especially having like the three, the Y, the S, and even the X, the things that a Cybertruck can handle and do that those vehicles can't is huge. And someone who does their own home renovations like we do, we could really use something like that because previously we've been having to like call up my dad and be like, hey, can you go use your truck and pick something up? Yeah. We were able to fit bathtubs in the Model S, yeah, which is pretty impressive. But like some things you just don't want to put inside a vehicle. You yeah. want that bed. So overall, super excited. Definitely let us know though down below what you think about some different wiper options or what you might have seen that we might have missed from this video. Any kind of like new tidbits of information. And again, we'll talk about it down there. As always though, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you are looking to accessorize your Model S, such as this one, X3 or Y, definitely check them out. All linked down below and using code Tesla inventory will get you 15% off of your first purchase. Our two must have accessories are definitely going to be a center console wrap. Really just helps protect any underlying material from getting scratches, scrapes, or fingerprints, as well as create your car your own, as well as a matte screen protector. Really helps cut down any glare from the sun and protect from any fingerprints thanks to its oleophobic surface. But that's basically it for this one. I definitely a thumbs up if you enjoyed that one. Go ahead and click here to subscribe here for some other ones and we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.